Welcome to the PFL pre-fight show. Sean O'Connell and Kenny Florian beside the smart cage. It's a better place to be doing this show. ESPN, PFL heavyweights and women's lightweights. Big show, big bodies, big personalities. Kenny, I cannot wait for this. Yeah, absolutely. Can't wait to see uh, what Kayla Harrison has in store for all of these lightweights. The most competitive uh, field by far for her. And, of course, the big boys about to clash. Once again, for the third week in a row, we welcome an MMA legend into the main event. But let's take a look at the card. Remember, this is on ESPN Plus, where we start, and then we continue on the Big Boy Network, ESPN itself, ESPN One, the mothership, whatever you want to call it. Very much looking forward to this. No pressure, Kenny Florian. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> uh, let's talk about that main event. Fabricio Verdum, longtime veteran of the sport, Multiple time champion in not only jujitsu, but uh, held gold in the UFC in the heavyweight division. This guy is one of the most decorated heavyweights of all time. And then there's no question about it. This guy is a winner. You know, I've seen him all the way from when he was a blue belt in jujitsu, where he was a world champion, and every belt after that, all the way up to the black belt level. Then he was an ADC submission wrestling world champion, did that a couple times, went out and submitted Fedor Emelianenko, became a UFC champion. This guy really has seen it all. And he's done it all. He's in the main event on ESPN, and he takes on someone who's at the opposite end of their career trajectory. Fabricio Verdum admits that, look, man, this is one last ride for me. I'm going to show everybody I can be a champion in multiple organizations. He welcomes a PFL newcomer, Hainan Fajera, who is the tallest, longest, and perhaps most dangerous unknown commodity in this heavyweight division. Absolutely, and just his height alone, just his size alone, is gonna give a lot of people problems. And especially with that striking style, with his boxing style, he's very good at keeping guys on the outside. He moves really well for a big guy. Typically, you see these guys are very big. You go, ah, it's fine, I'll be faster than him. Well, that might not be the case with Hainan Fajera. He, he moves really well. He's very fast, he's very agile, and he's dangerous on the ground as well. And fun fact, Hainan Ferreira actually played Fabricio Verdum in a movie. That's the real story. Now he gets the fight to man. That's the main event on ESPN. And it's all about exciting newcomers with these heavyweights. How about this one? Muhammad Usman versus Brandon Sales. Obviously, Muhammad Usman, the name value comes from the accomplishments of his older brother, UFC champion, and arguably pound for pound king, Kamaru. But Muhammad wants to start making his own legacy, and he chose the PFL for that platform. That's right. I mean, the whole Usman family is so talented. The oldest brother got a soccer scholarship to college. Usman, of course, got a wrestling scholarship. And Mo got a football scholarship. So they're all very talented individuals. He's going to try to bring that physicality into this market. And he's going to have to because his opponent, Brandon Sales, is our largest heavyweight when we're talking about sheer mass. This is a guy who has to cut to make 265 pounds. An Army combative instructor who's not necessarily the longest standing fighter because you got Fabricio Verdum in this division, but a guy who's in combat sports literally every single day since he was 18. Another huge guy who cuts down uh, to make the weight class, and he's very agile as well. A couple of featured bouts in the heavyweight division. How about this one? Women's lightweight champion, two-time Olympic gold medalist, Kayla Harrison makes her return. She's had a long time off. Her life is completely changed. I'm excited to see what she brings to the smart cage. Well, listen, she brings in so much experience from her judo background, but she continues to get better. So watch out for her striking this time out. And her opponent, a striker in her own right, Mariana Moraes, she came to us from an international qualifier series. Had to win two fights in one night just to get this opportunity. And she's greeting the returning champion and two-time Olympic gold medalist. It's an uphill battle. Can she do it? There's no doubt about it. She's unfazed and she's ready for this huge challenge. Larissa Pacheco is the woman who tested Kayla Harrison twice in season two. She's back welcoming a very tall, very rangy newcomer, Julia Pajic. Pacheco is young, but she's incredibly experienced, Kenny. That's right, Pacheco uh, seems to be in the best shape of her life. She's extremely focused. She says, I'm not even thinking about the million dollars. I'm taking this one fight at a time. My goal is to be the best women's lightweight in the world. She'll take a six-foot striker, Yulia Payich, in her opener uh, for PFL again. This is a look at the upcoming card on ESPN. We start things on ESPN Plus at Women's Lightweight. We continue through a great card. Heavyweights, women's lightweights. Kenny, I cannot wait. I'll see you once again.